Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the limit to infinity. When we say in calculus that something is infinite, we simply means that there is no limit to its values. Limit at infinity are used to describe the behavior of a function as independent variable increases or decreases without any bound. If f is the function, then the limit of f of x as x increases or decreases without any bound is called the limit of f of x at infinity. Symbolically, we write x approaches to infinity. When the variable is x and take only the positive values, then x become positively infinite. We write x approaches to infinite positively. If x takes only negative values, it become negatively infinite in which case we write x approaches to negatively infinite. Thus, if x approaches to infinite, then 1 by x approaches to 0, 1 by x square approaches to 0, 1 by x cube approaches to 0, 1 by root x approaches to 0. If you ask to find out the limit of infinity, there are three rules for solve it. The first one is that, if the highest degree in the numerator is less than the degree of denominator, then the limit to infinity is 0. Secondly, if the highest degree in the numerator is the same as the degree in the denominator, then the limit to infinity is the ratio of these two variables. And finally, if the highest degree in the numerator is greater than the highest degree of denominator, then the limit to infinity is negatively or positively infinite. We can examine these rules of limit to infinity by using the numerical examples. See here, evaluate the limit 3x square plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2x cube plus 3x square plus 5 where x approaches to infinity. So here, the first we divide numerator and denominator by the highest power of x and then evaluate the function. So here the highest power of x is x cube that is here in the denominator that is 2x cube. So here the highest power of x is x cube. So divide both the numerator and denominator by using x cube. So it will become 3 by x plus 2 by x square plus 1 by x cube divided by 2 minus 3 by x plus 5 by x cube. So as x approaches to infinite, then 1 by x, 1 by x square, 1 by x cube, all will approach us to 0. So substitute this 1 by x, 1 by x square, 1 by x cube as 0, then it will become 0 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 plus 0. So it will become 0 by 2, which is equal to 0. So, in this case, the highest degree in the numerator is less than the highest degree of denominator. So, the limit to infinity is 0. Another example that is evaluate limit 4x square plus x minus 2 divided by 6x square minus x plus 2 where x approaches to positively infinite. In the question involving infinite limits, we first divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x and then evaluate the function. So here the highest power of x is equal to x square. So divide both numerator and denominator by using x square. So it will become 4, 4 x square divided by x square will become 4. Then 1 by x minus 2 x square 2 by x square divided by 6x square divided by x square which is equal to 6 minus 1 by x plus 2 by x square. So as x approaches to infinite then 1 by x, 1 by x square, 1 by x cube all approaches to 0. So substitute 1 by x, 1 by x square and 1 by x cube as 0 then it will become 4 plus 0 minus 0 divided by 6 minus 0 plus 0 which is equal to 4 by 6 which is we can rewrite as a 2 by 3. 
So see here, the highest degree in the numerator is the same as the degree of denominator. Then the limit to infinity is the ratio of two variable which is equal to the 4 by 6 which is 2 by 3. See here, the highest degree in the numerator is the x square which is same as the highest degree in the denominator that is also x square. So if the degree of highest degree of numerator and denominator are same then limit to infinity is the ratio of two variable which is equal to 2 by 3 here. Consider another example evaluate limit 2x square minus 3x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 where x approaches to infinite. Here the highest degree is 2 which is in numerator that is 2x square. So in this case we are dividing numerator and denominator by x square. So we have x square taking outside 2 minus 3 by x plus 5 by x square divided by the denominator will become x into 1 minus 2 by x. So here in the numerator it is x square and denominator it is x it will be cancelled so we have a x into 2 minus 3 by x plus 5 by x square divided by 1 minus 2 by x. So as x approaches to infinite then 1 by x 1 by x square 1 by x cube all approaches to 0. Then substituting 1 by x 1 by x square 1 by x cube all is equal to 0 then it will become limit x into 2 minus 0 plus 0 whole divided by 1 minus 0. So which is equal to limit 2x where x approaches to 0 which we can rewrite as a 2 into limit x where x approaches to infinity. So as x approaches to infinite then 2x is approaches to infinite. So in this case the highest degree in the numerator is greater than the highest degree in the denominator that is highest degree in the numerator here it is 2 and in the denominator it is 1 that is 2x square and divided by x. So in this case the limit to infinity is plus or minus infinity. I hope you are clear about how to find the limit to infinity. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.